version of what all Griffin amplifier technology is built on. You could say that the grandfather of all Griffin amplifiers was the DR100 that was introduced in the beginning of the 90s, 91 actually. Uh, and it was a big base of 100 watt pure class A. And it was revolutionary in a number of ways that it was uh, the first commercial amplifier where we actually adjust or select the class A biasing you want. It was a true dual mono amplifier, it had no negative feedback, and it was absolutely pure class A. And over the years, that building block has evolved. So it became to a Antillian, became to an Antillian signature, and now it has become to the EVO, EVO standing for evolution. So it's been like an evolutionary process from the beginning. And what is common in, in a lot of uh, businesses or technologies is that you take experience from the expensive products and it will tickle down to some of the other products. So in this case, we took a lot of the technology that we had such a big success, success with from the Mephisto and it found its way into this latest uh, version. We also have a different power supply. We have like a 50% higher capacity in this one than we had in the signature. And the driver status has been improved also. But to a lot of people, uh, the Griffin and Tillian or Signature or DM100 really is the icon of Griffin. And it has its following because from the beginning it was an amplifier that was very, very forgiving and very easy to live with. I mean, there would even be people who would be tube fanatics that would say, this would be the solid state amplifier I'd actually could live with. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with that, but I know what they mean. This one here has a higher resolution than the older brothers, definitely. But it still has this gentle character combined with a lot of power that this range of amplifiers has been famous for. So, be very happy to introduce this. It's going to be in October this year. Thanks.